I want to start off uh, just saying a few words about where we are and what we know so far. Uh, this is obviously not based on very much information. Uh, and my phone is buzzing all the time with people telling me things. So we're already starting to process the information that we have. But in this first image, you can see that we landed to the southeast of the delta. We are about two kilometers to the southeast of the delta. And we are actually right on the boundary between two different geologic units. There's the kind of smooth area that we landed on. We call that the mafic floor unit. And then there's the rough area. This is actually where the dunes are. Uh, and that's the olivine bearing unit. And uh, this is a great place to be because one of the things that uh, scientists love to do is look to see how two different geologic units come together. It tells you a lot about the geologic history. So we're, we're really excited to get going on this. Um, and if I could have the next image. Uh, so these images, I, I, I hope everybody understands, that these are actually taken in only one of the color bands. This is just in the red color band and they are actually taken through the protective lens cap that is on the camera. So these are, these are just amazing things that we got back in the first few seconds after we landed. Um, but we can already see some important things. Uh, there are rocks in this field of view. They are, uh, we don't know exactly how big they are, but they might be uh, about 10 centimeters would be a reasonable guess. Um, so those are, those are going to be very interesting. They will uh, undoubtedly be some of the first objects that we explore uh, once uh, the, the kind of shakedown phase of the um, early rover operations completes. And also in the background, we believe that we can see the delta. There, there are features in the back that look like the cliffs of the delta. And so when we get those additional images back that Jennifer was mentioning, we should know a lot more about that. And then we can also see um, some sand dunes in there. And, and actually, uh, in something of a relief, our imaging scientist told me when I went and talked to him about this image, I asked him what he saw, and he said, looks like Mars. And so I'm glad we have successfully landed on Mars. So science team is uh, really excited to get going here. We have uh, years of scientific investigation ahead of us.